What is... I don't even know what this one's from. Hmm. Uh, well, anyways, let's just start a quest. Let's lay out the facts. Lambda's been talking about that Offseer. She's... Shijima. Yes, I heard. It's true, then. He was really... Yes. wonder how he felt at... At the end. You can never really know, can you? But I bet he was proper living it up. Hey, whatever happened to that other Offseer? Yeah, hope Moraine's doing okay. She must be feeling pretty low after this. Maybe we should go and look in on her. I don't know if there's anything we could do, but... Yeah, let's pay her a visit. There you are, Moraine. Oh, it's you. Is everything okay? We heard about Shijima, and we were just wondering how you were doing. Oh, you heard about that. Yeah, Shijima passed away. But you don't have to worry about me. It was hard, but I'm doing fine now. Wow, you're so strong, Maureen. I think I understood everything he wanted to pass on, and I'll do my best to keep his legacy alive. After we came back with you, we had a long chat, just the two of us. We talked down a lot of stuff. He looked really content. So thanks for everything you did. No, we hardly did any anything. If you died peacefully, then that was all you're doing, Maureen. But it did make me worry about Colony Lambda a bit. Worry? How's that? We're a well-regulated colony, but it takes time and effort to put in requests to get permission for anything you want to do. You seem to be uneasy about how much that slows everything down. Understand, yes. Those rules have managed to keep the colony running well enough, but... The colony's combination of talented individuals and strong leadership is what led it to the top of the rankings. Listen, I get that everything takes an age to get done, but listen. Got a second, Moraine? Well, well, if you're paying me a visit, this must be important. Just because we're in the same cohort doesn't mean you're. we have to be best friends. Sure, sh so, what's going on? Agnes' forces are approaching Colony Lambda. We don't have concrete numbers, but the sensors haven't registered anything, so they're probably coming by air. We've sent a recon team headed by Captain Roche, so we're hoping to intercept them soon. That's not great. Not at all. Quite a bit worse, in fact, given that half the colony is still being rebuilt. We're mobilizing everyone. You too, Moraine. I'll be there. In that case, we'll come too. That would be appreciated. I have more squads to talk to, so go to the captain and he'll send you where you're needed. Tanya tells me you're going to give us a hand as well. Sorry to drag you into our business. It's not like we could just let you handle it alone. Well, I'm happy to hear it. Looks like everyone's here. Let's crack on with the briefing. Squad captains have all the particulars. We'll run through the broad strokes of the strategy here, so pay attention. They're, they likely have considerable numbers and firepower, and Lambda's not exactly the height of its powers. How accurate is our data on the enemy? Koji verified their firepower, and it lines up with the recon team's intel. Well, Koji says so. I'm not going to argue. I've already posted defensive squads. They should be able to confirm their numbers. Can you afford to do that? They're pretty much knocking on your door, aren't they? Togim's the tactician, and he's focusing on defense. That doesn't mean just sitting and taking everything that's thrown at them. The idea is to fragment the enemy with each clash and stall them. And in this kind of combat, how much intel you have on the enemy is of vital, of, is of vital importance. Yeah, it goes without saying that you need to know the likely mo movements and sizes of the size of the enemy's forces. Exactly. I'm thinking of deploying some auto levs as well. Keep them up top. Good plan. Basic strategy dictates that you should put them in locations where, wh which would be difficult for soldiers alone to defend. Right. Let's do it then. All squads, prepare for battle. Guess it means us too. You did come after all. Yep, we're preparing for Agnes's attack. We certainly are. Not far from now, we're going to be marching out there, surrounded by furious enemies. We're bringing state. We're being stationed near the waterfall entrance. Are you with us? Yeah, we'll stick with you. And let's get to the waterfall entrance and stage a counterattack. 
Here they come. Hey, no fair. They're early. No point crying over that now. Let's go. Level 52. Okay. Should be easy enough. We haven't seen this class much yet. Two elements to start with. Uh, water is usually for healing. Or at least that's how it was in Xenoblade 1. I can release. And that releases both of them at once. It's very hard to tell because of how uh, overboard the icon uh, everything is on the screen in this game. But that's fine. Surely. Ooh, we got up another one at some point. Do they just appear automatically by themselves? Maybe. Uh, yeah, and the some no, something got gets two no matter what. I don't see a third one. There might be a slot spot for a third one. I'm not 100% sure in this game's version of it, at least. Especially since I would have to wait so long for it to even appear. It appears to just be random, though, which ones we get. I wonder if the buffs are random, then, in that case. Going in line with how if they're working how they were in uh, the first game. Lots of stuff going on, though. <laughs> Mostly just wait it out, though. We should be getting at least some uh, decent class points. I don't know, I, the bar doesn't look like it's going very far at all. Is it? I think I just kind of... Oh, I, had, I did have three elements there, actually. I saw that. Oh, is that it? And now we move on to the next group. I see. Maybe. Or did we push them all back already? Good thing you were here. Sorry to put you out, though. Mate, that's what we're here for. It's the least we could do. Yeah, reckon you're right. Anyway, we took care of the vanguard, but the second wave is on the way, on its way. There's bound to be a lot of them. Agnes don't do things by halves. Normally we could fend off an assault like this, no problem. But unfortunately for us, we've got a number of squads barely even hanging on right now. And we got to help them out, no question. No, you take five in the canteen. Support us in the next one, will you? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm getting comments from all the other squads too. I need to react to the moment react to them at the moment's notice. So this demands your full attention. Okay, see you on the other side. Something worrying you, Tyon? Yes. First let's get to the canteen. I mean I guess going to the canteen makes some sense. Uh, just so that he knows where we are, I guess. <laughs> Especially for emergencies. Also, we're inside the colony itself. Theoretically, they could be airdropping through the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, so what happened with the autolevs in the end? I heard people discussing it on the road. There's only one left, apparently, and it's defending the upper level. Hey, it's Moraine. I hope she doesn't push herself too hard. Lambda is all about cooperative effort, and they're all and they're well run. Agnes may have the numbers, but I can't imagine they'll be a tough opponent. I can't imagine they'll be that tough an opponent. Absolutely, Lambda's cohesion and firm leadership is a force to be reckoned with. But there's that's there's an odd fatigue about the colony right now. I don't know if they're just exhausted by the work that the broken flame clock brought on, or for something else. Perhaps the combat and supply units aren't quite working in Concord. Ah, uh, yeah, they've been trying to find a niche outside war. Fixing autolevs, ether mining, all that. Right, and all those little things build up into stress. There's a lot more to worry about, but it's all moot if we can't win this battle now. Yeah, let's see what we can do on that front, then. What's the situation? Must say, happy to see you smiling, your smiling faces. Enemies nearly upon us, coming from up top. Up top? Wait, really? Okay. <laughs> I was mostly joking about that. Gotta muster other units for counterattack. Rosh, wait. Hold your course straight ahead. 
What? It doesn't make sense for the Agnian army to hold the top at this point in the fight. If they were going to do that, they would have created a diversion right away and attacked here. Yet they've hardly dented our forces. They're not going to risk everything on a gamble now. Good eye, lad. So what's the conclusion? My guess is that they're trying to strategically tie down our forces on the upper level. It's a convincing argument. I'll shore up our weakest points. That's the captain for you. Lightning fast decisions. Bam. Heh, <laughs> I know I get a bad rap, but I do know how to how to lead a combat unit. We push through to the top. If there's an auto lev post up there, it'll be a cakewalk. Okay, this is it everyone. Let's go. Okay, well I need to go out here so that we can choose the full map. So that we can then... This is up there, yeah. Ooh, signs of battle. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You guys showed up all of a sudden. Summon some, summon some elements. It does appear to summon two right away. I kind of wish I knew off the top of my head what the other ones other than water did. I know water was for healing. You know, time's close by. If I'm... Maybe it's just everyone's getting effects. It just took a second for everyone else to get it. If I discharge... Because everyone has a regen effect right now. Does the effect go away? No. Although, to be fair, Mia also had some sort of uh, healing effect for, on one of her skills, didn't she? And two... Mia... But Mia and Mio both have that class. <laughs> so that makes sense. Uh, anyways, you're about to go down. I don't even need to do much. Like, yeah. I think that was the last of them. How many was that even? I must have sent the whole of Agnes over here. Should probably find someone to report to at some point. Yeah, shall we go to the commander's office? Can't help wondering why they targeted Colony Lambda. What do you mean, Tyon? I just don't understand why you'd go to the trouble of actively attacking a colony as defensively strong as Colony Lambda. Maybe they wanted the ether? Not impossible, but then why attack by air? You're overthinking it, mate. They just decided to use Levnesses, that's all. I certainly hope that's all. Can I hop down some at some point somewhere around here? Cause is, aren't we right above it? It's over here, okay. Uh I know there's water down there. Is it deep enough? There's one way to find out. It doesn't look deep enough. That's for sure. It is. How did you miss? <laughs> it probably would have killed us if we hit the ground, but... So what we did made sense. And it's faster. I'd like to thank you all for your efforts in defending the colony. We've confirmed the retreat and defeat of all enemy forces. You can all take it easy for the rest of the day. Trogrim, would you mind staying behind with the commander and me? Yes, sir. We need to look into their intended targets and how they got here. No need, Captain. Koji? I brought them. You did what? You knew that already, though, didn't you? They came by air because they knew about our sensor system. I told them where Lambda's defenses were weakest. And I passed the information to them via the Nopon Caravan. What are you talking about? Do you have any idea what you're saying? Koji, I'll be put in solitary for this. I get that everyone's worn out, but this isn't time for time or place for jokes. Go and sleep it off. From where I'm standing, quick reaction on our part would have avoided the auto lives from being wasted. But Lambda isn't capable of that right now. If the Ouroboros hadn't been here, we would have been crumbled. We would have crumbled. You can excel in tactics, you can fight impressive battles, but you still end up, end up on the losing end. If we can't react flexibly then we're threatened. when we're threatened, then that's fatal to us as a colony. You're probably right. 
Finally, Lambda needs to change. If we can't, we die. I'm not I'm not going to roll over and die cowering from the future, like Shijima when he ran off. And no, you won't either, Captain. Take him away. But, but we can't leave things this way. Colony Lambda can't survive like this, and you know it. I'm sorry you had to see that. No, we just... Koji's words are reasonable. We're all keenly aware of our situation. In that case, maybe change isn't impossible. Think of discipline as a protective armor. It isn't easy to cast it off for freedom. Everything becomes a source of fear. Commander. Thank you for working with us on this. You deserve a well-earned rest. I see some relations have changed. I feel like that's not the end of this quest line. Well, that was a welcome reprieve from the usual tedium. <laughs> Washed away all the fatigue. Yes, but it's been nose to the grindstone almost as soon as I came back. Can't be letting the backlog pile up. But we'll be able to organize a visit to Spa of Lanthams. I okay. see some relations have changed. Support what Koji did. Yeah, I've been hearing all kinds of talk about that. Seems like times are changing here in our colony as well. If you have the colony's interests at heart, then surely you have to understand that Koji's got the right idea here. All I do is fight, so it's probably good for me to be subject to a few rules and regulations. Well, sure, but me and the guys at Logistics are getting fed up with how bloated the peacetime bureaucracy is. We're working with other colonies, and we got more on our plate, but we still got all this red tape. Throughput's important. Man, Lambda's the most hard-working bunch I've ever seen. Exceptionally talented, too. It's no wonder they held on to their rank for so long. Which means that ending up in a situation like the one we just had is entirely in my head. You say that, but you can't please them all. Some people think it's all hunky-dory, some don't. There's no right answer. It's a very earnest observation, Uni. I'm a very earnest observer, don't you know? Connolly Lambda was weak before we established the chain of command. Right. The system was revised, the current structure took shape, and Lambda became a strong colony. Strict discipline allowed us to broaden our strategies and strengthen our units. But now those rules are strangling the colony. It doesn't change the fact that these formalities were what made Lambda strong in the first place. And that's why they can't just tear down the system that got them here, even when they know it's inefficient. That's why Koji took the actions he did to challenge that system. I'm sure Koji was thinking of calling Lambda in his own way. Yeah, he had to be. I'm sure he only wanted the, what was best for the colony. Indeed. As it happens, we set up a place in the commander's office to discuss our next options with the captains. Would you care to join us? We'd like as many ideas as we can on the table. Okay, let's have a shuffle. to I'm not familiar with that word. Sure. <laughs> shuffle. to Commander, you made it. Oh, and you guys. They're with me. Don't pay them any attention. Let's get, just get this sorted. Okay, then. Let's start with the manufacturing unit. Not changed a bit, have they? I feel they're on the right track, but they can't quite shake up shake the old ways just yet. Lambda's a pretty great colony. They won't lose sight of what they need to do. Excuse me, Commander. There's something... Tonya, please. We're in the middle of an inquiry here. Let her speak. We found evidence of trespassers in the colony. Are you sure? Don't be ridiculous. After we've just been attacked by Agnes? I'm afraid I... I didn't wait for approval. I put together a unit to tail them and spent, sent them out at once. Asking forgiveness instead of permission? How unlike you, Tonya. You did the right thing and not waiting to act. Use your best judgment in this matter. Yes, sir. All right. Captain Roche, Sergeant Tonya, come with me. We'll do. Come along, Tonya. Seems we'll have to put our talk on the back burner for now. Nothing be done about that. This trespassing matter is more urgent. 
It is, rather. No idea where they've, they've come from. Don't suppose you'd be willing to help us look into it. It's no question of that. Of course we will. Reach down to the engineers and survey branch. See if they can pass any inf uh, us any info. Roger that. We'll take care of it. We can talk more near the entrance to Mac the Wildwood. Sure. <laughs> Mac the Wildwood. Ouroboros and Commander, you're here too? Don't mind me. Please continue. Yes, sir. I just received a report confirming the traces of trespass. We're com combing the area now. Seems our unwanted guests are heading in the direction of the forest. Can't imagine they'll slink away without trying something. Footprints. We'll follow them. Okay, we'll merge with the detached force then. We're counting on you. These footprints. This may be the work of a professional. They're headed in that direction. Do they just stop, or are they going to be okay? okay never mind. <laughs> Makes sense that they would continue somewhere. Is this like a I will say, this just follow random path thing is fine, but Xenoblade 2 did it An better. Intruder. I don't like this one bit. Uh, with the, well, you have to have the right blades equipped to do a little bit of stuff. I suppose we should be thankful that no one was attacked. It made it more interesting than just press A and follow. Footsteps just end. What does it mean? Hey, you lot. Can you tell me your position right now? We were following a set of footprints we thought might belong to the trespassers. If anything, they fled to low Mac the Wildhood. How do you know that? Took the auto lev out and had a gander for the engineers. We got approval for an auto lev. Oh, the auto lev is our pet project. We don't need permission to use it. Or don't tell the commander though. You know he's right here, don't you? Anyway, if you're after the trespassers, try the low wildwood. Good hunting. Oh right, message from the toll gr from Tolgram before I forget. Analysis of the trespassers' behavior indicates they're probably up to something. So be on your guard if it comes down to a fight. Okay. Really just gonna let her use that thing whenever she wants? Nothing to worry about. Told her she doesn't need my permission. We can talk later. We have to get to lo the low wildwood. Oh yeah, right. Let's hurry to the lower levels. What's the fastest way over other than fast traveling, I guess. <laughs> I guess just fast traveling. Oh great, everything is around our level. Uh which is fine of course. Also we can walk on poison now still. Without it damaging us, so it's good to remember that. I doubt I've done this fight because of that. Really? No spoiler spoilers? That's unfortunate. No, I don't think I'm ready to fight a dragon, though. Let's press on, sir. You or whatever you are. Indeed. We should be at our destination soon. No problem now. Cross the poison over here. It's an area we haven't been to before. Mostly because there is poison in the way. Well, well, well. If it isn't Colony Lambda and Isard after all this time. I know you. We've got so much to catch up on, you and I. I thought we wiped you out last time last we met in battle. Our colony may have been destroyed by autolevs and all those fancy toys, but we survived. No, we couldn't die until we got our revenge on Colony Lambda. Wait, they can't be. They are. The best of Colony 13 come to finish their lot of vendetta with us. Or long vendetta. We tried starting a new life in a new colony, but it wasn't enough. You couldn't quench our hatred. You slaughtered our friends in Colony 13. 
The thought of avenging them against you is the only thing that's kept our flame clocks ticking. Follow the idiotic. The friends we've lost all because of your poisonous games. This is senseless. What point is there in letting your desire for revenge consume you? As if we care about that now. All we want now is to wipe Colony Lambda off the map. No point talking to a brick wall. You talk about po our poison? We'll show you poison. They all have the same weapon. Uh, level 60? Well, enemy levels are going up, which is good for quests. At some point, presumably, uh, we'll get more, like, high-level quests, which would be nice. Uh, because otherwise... Well, I would just expect high-level quests in the late to post-game. Without it, there's, like, no reason, no, no real easy path to max level, other than just, like, big monster, which gets boring, uh, pretty fast. I know I have a whole bunch of them to go after, but I don't want to do them right now, because <laughs> they do get very tiring with how long it takes to uh, take them down. And one of this game's biggest flaws, especially with recording it, is how cluttered the screen is with like visual effects. My goodness. That's them gone. I'll be honest, it doesn't feel great. Hmm. Still, we saw the threat, thanks for your quick reflexes. All we did was fight. Everyone in Lambda did the real work. Haha, <laughs> well said. I'll thank them. Let's leave the cleanup to the team and get back to the commander's office. Time to head back to the commander's office and debrief everyone. I know we've been lurching from crisis to crisis lately, but I want to thank you for your teamwork. You all managed to pull your own weight, and I'm thoroughly impressed. Guess so. We didn't have much alternative. It was that or end up in even more dire straits. As Captain Rosh said, there wasn't much else we could do. We had to act for the sake of the colony. I'm the one who forestalled that the orders. If there's a punishment to be borne, I'll bear it. I'm not accusing any of you of anything. I'm proud of you all, actually, th for thinking on your feet. Call them nerds all you want, but they can walk the walk. Eh, not how I'd phrased it. Uh, how I'd phrase it. But I'm with you. It sounds pretty spineless, but I think we gave up on thinking for ourselves. Maybe we just didn't want to be responsible, even for the important stuff. Koji's actions have really shaken things up. It's not a bad thing to advocate for change. We're going to make mistakes from time to time, but your decisions and actions are what will lead us to a new future. I wonder if the commander was quietly waiting for this opportunity to arise. If I keep on barking orders and forcing rules, then, ultimately, nothing is going to change. If you want to change, you have to do it yourself. Y'all realize that, and that's why you're able to act as you did. Coach, you realized it before any of us, and he acted on it. Commander, can't we bring Coach back? I agree, if we can. Is that your collective opinion? His actions were wrong, no doubt, but it was Coach's words that kicked off all of this. I don't think anyone's doubts anyone doubts that either. Can't deny it. We need to work together towards his, his, this new future. And we'll need his help for that. I see. That's settled then. As of now, Koji can return to active duty, albeit stripped of his former position. He will, however, remain under close surveillance. Such behavior warrants harsh punishment. Connie Lambda's changing. Let's see how it goes. This is all thanks to you. Not all. You. No, the people of Colony Lambda manage this. You keep doing what you do, and, I'll, and I know you'll make something great. Oh, I intend to set it on the right path, yes. But the colony will continue to grow, by my hand or not. It's a good feeling, isn't it? Ooh. Five stars. Relations have changed. We've hit five stars with, with colonies before, right? 
Yeah, Tao has five stars. Colony 4 has five stars. Gamma, zero. Caravans. Okay, actually, a good amount of them are. Uh, but then I have somewhere like this, which is only level two, like two stars. What am I supposed to do with you? Ugh, I should just look that up. Let's see, he's only at four stars. Okay. So, not that many. 